think we're back. It says we're live, but it's not showing me anything live. in the chat let me know if you can see us we'll get going again We got BFA home back at least. So apparently at some point, my cats decided it would be fun to uh, unplug the power adapter that feeds the video camera. So the batteries on the video camera died. And by the time I plugged the camera back in, the stream decided to die, and then my capture card didn't want to recognize the camera once it's plugged in again, and blah, 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 blah. So now you're back. Basically, cats can be a real pain in the butt. And also in the middle of all that, one of my cats decided he wanted to come try to get some attention. Like, no dude, I'm trying to troubleshoot the stream right now. Can't give you any pets. I just walk around my feet, it's probably gonna unplug the video camera again. Oh, all right, got a cat in my lap. Ain't gonna come on the stream tubs. Oh yes, go right on the microphone. I'm sure everyone loved that. Yes, per per per. Yes, yeah, so Vox move. It was battery related because the cats unplugged the camera, uh, so it ran out of power, then ran out of battery. I'm going to turn to the microphone tub so everyone can hear you. And yes, BFA Home Roka was indeed talking about the music that we're playing. I'm sure you've heard some familiar tunes. Okay. We're working on a seat right now. Microphone, dude. It's like, but the microphone. 
microphone is so good to scratch on. Alright, so here we've got a little seat. Can fold down. I'm not sure how much it'll be able to fold in the final assembly. But it has some battle droid arms on here. I was kind of curious about these two by two plates with the uh, what we call now mixel joints on them. Because I didn't see any mixel sockets, but we're actually not using them for the balls, we're using them for the little 318 bars sticking out. And those battle droid arms we are going to click onto there. And so that kind of gives us like a lot of range of motion. So it looks like, yes, yeah, so I guess that's going to be a bed now. So it can fold out to be a bed or it can fold down somehow to be a seat, something like that. Now we're doing another one of those, possibly for the front. Gonna help me turn the page tubs. for me to read the instructions. As long as I don't want to read that one section of the instructions, I'm fine, huh? Well, hello. Is that where you're going to sit now? have to build around you, I get it. you could do tubs is face the camera. Alright. So we've got another seat. This one does not quite have the same complex attachment points as the other one. Uh, where is this one supposed to be going? Oh, you're going to go back there now. Okay, well, I can reclaim this spot so I can actually work on this. Did I assemble something wrong here? Oh, it looks right. Ah, okay, this goes right there. So that one does not fold down all the way, it's just a normal seat. Give me some space to work here, dude.
Yeah, so do you approve of this build so far, Tubbs? Do you like the camper van? He says, yes, it's a very good to scratch my face on. Oh, thank you. My hands are clean already, though, dude. Don't eat the Harry Potter boats. Those are not for the eatings. I need to turn the page. Need to give the cat a mic. If I gave the cat a mic, you'd probably just end up trying to eat it. Or just playing with the wire, wouldn't you? Don't look at me like you're an innocent creature in all this. We know you can be a vicious terror when you want to be. You're just trying to get my hands out of the way, huh? So you can lay down. No, you can't lick the instructions. You can lick the ink right off of them. You need to see what's underneath there. Are you good paperweight tubs? All right, so meanwhile, while the cat was distracting me, we just built up this whole sidewall on the van here. So you can see, it looks kind of similar to the other side, except for the lack of gaps in the door handle, since there's no door on this side. And our interior's coming along pretty nicely, I guess. Still uh, probably have some more details I need to to happen. Looks like we're going to be building a table now for the middle here. If that's okay with you, Tubbs. So there's a little table, pops right in. And I'm assuming it's supposed to be able to fold down so that that can fold out into bed mode. Ok, 
curious to see how easy or not it'll be to do all of that when there's like a whole upper level on this thing. Yeah, I have a, I guess, Voxima is that it kind of depends on, uh, you know, how much you want to spend on the camper van as to how fancy it'll be in the back. Uh, time to check out, Tubbs. Oh yeah, go right into the camera. Can he break as he tries to leave? Oh, all right, bye tubs. I guess he just thought I was being too boring. Needed to spruce things up a little bit. It's probably a fair assessment. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a lava lamp um, because 60s. I think now we're going back to the front area. Oh, is that? Okay, no. I thought that was going to like flip around. We're adding in a gear shift. And what I assume are supposed to be gas and brake pedals? I wonder where the clutch is, if those aren't the only two pedals we have. Never mind, we already have the gas pedal, so this is the clutch and brake, or just the brake. Only if I can clip it in here. There we go. It does seem like the front 
of the van here is going to be very snug. I don't think mobile tent is the way to describe a camper van. If you're looking for something that's more of a mobile tent, you'd probably just get like a utility van or something. But like by virtue of it being a camper van, I think that I feel like that implies some sort of amenities. At the very least like a fold out bed. That's interesting, so we're assembling our wheel well pieces. And this one by six arch actually is not attaching to anything. It's attaching via this two by four tile. So it just kind of floats on top of these cheese slopes. Cool technique. Just me, are you guys seeing better quality or is it looking pretty rough to you too? And that is it for our first instruction book. We've also been going for around two hours. So I think that's about time for another giveaway. So I put up the link right there. Switch to our next booklet. Uh, look at our settings real quick. See if there's any reason why our quality would be bad. Maybe that's just YouTube. Okay, looks like I just, for some reason on the auto setting, lowered me down to like super blurry resolution. All right, so it looks like we're good. giveaway there. We'll open up our second page of instructions, our second book of instructions. Work on that. We'll get through like this first page and we'll pick our next winner. Definitely feels like we're getting somewhere though. I'm looking at these trays of parts. I'm like, oh, these seem kind of low now.
Oops, this looks like it's going to be the uh, front door. So there's our front door. So plenty of doors on this side to get in. And with that done, turn in the page. We'll see who our next lucky winner will be. Lord Oblivion, congratulations. You've won a Jin Urso buildable figure. We'll be getting in touch and getting you that prize. So we're going to work on the seat back here for the driver's compartment. Also noticing we're just about out of dark red parts. Which has been like what a lot of the accents have been in here. Except somewhere there is a dark red tile. are just blind to. Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry, Cubic, that you missed, uh, missed the stream come back and then they gotta go. Appreciate you joining us. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Hopefully my cat's will unplug her camera next time. We got our seat back for the front. It's a nice big bench seat, no bucket seats in the 60s there. If I can line that up, there we go. Can lean a little bit, but not too far back because it hits the sink there. It does not look all that comfortable, I must admit. Ooh, now we can do the steering wheel. See, yeah, definitely a non-functioning steering wheel. But we need that as soon as we put the uh, fixed axles in place in the front. Now, 
Okay, we're moving on to the driver's side door. There's our driver's side door. Really have to kind of step up and out to get over that wheel well. Um, I can, I'm guessing that's going to be where the rear view mirror goes. Also starting to run out of normal uh, red parts. A few sections here and there. So I think that means we're getting pretty close to working on the roof, which is going to be primarily white. And we have been adding on a lot of the doors these one by one plates with clips on them that I believe are going to be used for like the pillars uh, to go up and make like the door frame. So that's kind of an interesting technique there with that clip. Also, still at some point after the entire front grill. That seems like that's one of those things that they're gonna like save to uh, closer to the end. It's kind of like one of those iconic parts that they want, like to be like a heap, like a whole assembly comes together, and then it's all said like, "Oh, look! You can t finally tell this is you know, the Volkswagen camper van." do have this like little gap back here that's kind of interesting like there is a hinge Does that open at all yeah, there's a hinge right here it doesn't quite go to anything just yet so we'll see if that should happen to change That might be what's supposed to be the bathroom, that little tiny gap. So 
somewhere in here is a window pane piece. It's hard to tell, I guess it is clear. It's a clear piece, but we are gonna put a sticker on it. Which is kind of interesting. A mirrored sticker, so I think it's gonna become a mirror. Maybe it's supposed to be a closet, not a bathroom. Yeah, so you take this window pane piece and put a reflective sticker. Now you put it in a window frame. It makes like a little mirror. Now that attaches, I, know, I guess that can't be a bathroom because there's no way to walk in, but that does swing out and there's an opening there, so maybe a closet. Let's see what, it, what happens. Oh yes, okay, so I think it is a closet because then we got another sticker coming in. It's going to be that t-shirt looking sticker from earlier. So this camper has got a closet, but no bathroom. Lovely Make Lego Models, Not War sticker. With a kind of modified two by four wedge plate on the back, makes it look kind of like a t-shirt hanging up. In true hippie fashion, they got this whole closet and uh, they're only bringing one shirt. No, oh, there's a break there. Is there a poor little pot of plant? Soon I'm just gonna get to the point where it's gonna be hard to find the pieces I need because it's gonna be all white. It's like just sort through a pile full of white pieces to find the ones you need. And that is why sorting by part type is better than sorting by color.
So we're starting to build up and do like the curves that are going to form the nice rounded shape of the top of the bus. Now be careful where you touch this model box. There's so many things that move the doors and the seats and all that. They like to pop out. Why am I being a hem, Jason? What did I miss? So it's kind of interesting. So all of the windows on the side have uh, drapes, and they're all individual little fabric pieces. So that's really nifty. So we're going to be building three of those right now. We got three for the other side. Okay, good, you're agreeing with me. That's good, you can stay, Jason. See so yeah, these curtain pieces, which look the same on both sides, are attaching on these one by two plates, these bars. So you just kind of have to slide them over there. It's a little bit of force to do. I wouldn't want to take them on or put them on and off several times that might kind of stretch the fabric out a bit it's interesting that one of the windows is in the closet they really want to show off that make lego models not war shirt that they've got they're really proud of that one So there you go, you can see our little curtains there, very cute. Is the wrong color of part. So I was looking at a white one by one plate, so I grabbed a tan one. Hey, welcome back, Voxumo. Glad to see that internet outages can't keep you from the stream.
All right, so now we're continuing some of the curve shaping on the side of our camper van there. I assume we're going to be doing the same in between all of our windows here. Give it a nice rounded shape. Yeah, so you can see we filled in these one by four slopes and now they're going to attach to these one by one modified plates with that thing and then the one by one plates with clips down there. It's going to be a little, a little interesting. Definitely need two hands to put that on, but you can see then that like it keeps a pretty nice, <coughs> excuse me, nice and slim profile. Um, from the sides there and then just kind of keeps the, the rounded shape they're going for from the outside. back to the inside we've got another sticker I almost said the last one but it is nowhere near close to last still got four more stickers this is I guess a poster that is up inside the wall of our camper van Someone catching a wave there, and you can see the surfboard. This is JH on it. Um, is it an H and not like a B or something? Yeah, JH. So I assume that's like the set designer, his initials. I'm not completely sure who the uh, designer of this set is to confirm if those are in fact their initials. So I think they're using these little tooth pieces in trans yellow as kind of interior lights. Let's see how that goes. Uh, I get to do 
our little windows with our curtains, just like we did on the other side. So yeah, pretty much the same thing as the other side, just no doors to worry about this time. Makes it a little bit sturdier. There we go, another set of curtains. window pieces in. Gonna make this side a lot sturdier than the other one. going in you can see that the roof is not going to be like uh, super solidly attached to the top of our camper which is probably to be expected right you're gonna want to be able to remove the roof to play with it and access the inside if not to play with it then at least to show off all the cool details to your friends.
So we just build this little guy. Let's go in our back corner here. And that kind of does its best to give us like a rounded back corner using that little slope. It's not perfect without making a new mold for that corner. I'm not sure how else they would have been able to do it and still have it be curved as opposed to just like a straight slope. So I kind of got to take it where you can get it. side from the back we're looking pretty nice now looks like we're gonna finish it up by doing our back uh, windshield windscreen here This is fun. So we're applying some stickers to these transparent pieces, but we have to assemble it first because otherwise the stickers might be too low so they're below the tile. So we do have to put it all together. Also doesn't make it easy the fact that you're putting a clear sticker on a clear piece. So again, I got these two little white stripes along the edges. Honestly, I'm not sure you really needed to put those stickers on there. I think it would have been fine without it. And that clicks in there, and that goes down. So yeah, that is the back of the van camper. So you can access the engine down there, or you can just on the click hinge, pop that open. I guess, you know, get some air going through, or if you need to carry your surfboard or something inside the camper. curvy parts in here. A lot simpler than on the side with the doors. Considering we're just about done with these one by four curve slopes. I think we're about done with the back of the caper.
Can I do something? Oh yes, okay. Like that one doesn't seem quite right. I did do it wrong. There we go, much better. All right. I think it's really starting to come together. So much so, I think it's about time we do another giveaway. So I'm gonna go put that link back up again. There we go. And I'm gonna work on this dashboard here. And then when I'm done with the dashboard, we'll do our next giveaway. interesting construction going on on the back of the dashboard where we have one of these two by two hinge plate tops going the ops direction. I think it's going to be so we can attach the windshield onto it. Looks like we are using a clock as what I assume is the speedometer. our I guess finished dashboard and that pops into our hinge bases and folds down so there we go there's our inside of our driver's compartment got our shifter and our steering wheel and got our gas and brake pedals down there Pick our next winner. Fox Sumo, congrats, you have won a Jin Urso buildable figure. Just looks like you made it back in time to win. doesn't want another Jin Urso buildable figure. Get those nice brown and dark gray shells. Good stuff. Look forward to seeing what uh, you build with them. Hopefully it makes it on the convention circuit.
Alright, working on our windows here in the front of the cab. couple of 1x4 curve slopes that are going on our front doors here pretty much the same way that they went on the doors into the camper section now so we get to work on the front a little bit and do the front windshield Looks like the shaping on these is going to be like a little bit awkward. Like the cheese slope and the 1x2x2 by two by two slope don't really merge together that well. They try, but not that great. I assume once we build out the rest of it though, it won't look as weird. It looks like we've got our side view mirror. Pops on right there. And then, somewhere in here, another windshield piece. And this is our penultimate sticker. Apparently, say apparently but I think it's I guess part of kind of the iconic design of the bus but like the front windshield is actually two separate panes of glass and so there's a stripe that's kind of running down the middle here to separate them and now looks like we're starting on the roof that's going to include the other two sides of the windshield kind of interesting design there. Using these big two by six curves for the uh, top of the roof here. Okay, so here is part of the front of the roof over here. It's really interesting how they're leaving this grill all the way until the very end.
And so then the front windshields attach to the bottom of the roof. Just kind of interesting technique. And then we plop that into place. It really takes a little bit of tweaking, it seems like it's going to be to kind of get it all to line up. Okay, that looks right. We're starting to get there, that iconic look. It definitely needs the grill, though. It's looking naked without it. And now we get to do the back part of the roof. Finally use up our big plates that we had. Some of the last of our dark or dark red parts. And some of our normal red parts as well. This is going to have the pop-up part. I forgot about that completely. Now it looks like it's going to be more uh, kind of decorative than functional in terms of the construction. Because the idea is that you have this part in the middle that pops up so you can actually like stand up at full height in the back and not bump your head on the roof. But clearly the roof is going to be solid. So yeah, it's just, uh, just for show from the outside. little Technic mechanism out of it, it looks like. Hey, Dollar, welcome. Kind of coming in near the end. Don't worry, still got cool stuff to be assembled. see how that mechanism is going to work. It's going to kind of scissor. So we're going to lock it down a little bit better though.
The Discord server is definitely intended to run alongside the forums. We have every intention of bringing the forums back online once we uh, get everything straightened out there, which we are working on. There we go, so now with that part on, you can see that mechanism working there. Pretty neat. Now, we get to add our last fabric piece here. And this gets to go all the way around. This wrong? Yep, I did it wrong. Start on this side because of how the holes are spaced. And this is like a slightly spongier material, more like some of the superhero capes. Like the more recent superhero capes are a little spongier than the, the kind of more uh, sturdy or rigid fabric that we had on the curtains there. And because it's a bit springier, I'm on one more. That'll allow it to kind of compress as part of our little play feature there. There we go, and so now when it's closed, it can hide the fabric and opens up and it gets revealed. Very awesome. There's a really cool little function there.
All right, looks like now we're working on some roof racks. You need a place to put like your camp chairs and uh, all your outdoor supplies. You don't need inside the camper. What are you doing, camera? Why do you just do that? Weird. All right, yeah, I can see there's on some battle droid arms and some tan pieces for the roof racks. Now we're gonna use some tubing and some other bars as well. Back tubing. All right, now this connects to our other section of roof. Make sure you push it down real good there. But we're not quite done. I'm gonna finish it off a little bit more to further hide all the fabric. So there's our roof, it's a little pop-up mechanism. And now all of this goes on here. And there's like a row of studs along the front and then a few near the back that it attaches to. So like when you push it on, it'll stay pretty well especially on the front, but you can pop it off without too much difficulty. All 
All right, now finally, it's time to do the front grill and finish this puppy up. Surprising how many parts we still have left. I finally can empty those two trays at least. So it's kind of nifty. We're building the front grill with you know, the studs facing out. Then we built our little headlight assemblies with the studs facing in, and then using a clip and bars here, we're attaching that. I should I do this right? Like that. So they're kind of reversed. I can feel it.
Definitely starting to get that right shaping there. go. You can see we've got a uh, one by two hinge bracket there that is going to have our sticker on it. Which it does look like it'll be easier to put the sticker or put the piece in place before the sticker to make sure it's lined up correctly. Wrong sticker sheet. Because yeah, you don't want to have the uh, the logo crooked here. Yeah, look at that. Tubing here is a little a little fun to get installed. really does not want to be in this shape. So much so it's kind of almost broke apart some of the, uh, the back here. But got it. Now, thanks to all the snot bricks here, just pops right into place, I hope. There we go. No. Come on. Maybe. And pop. Something is not aligned correctly. Thing looks pretty flat. Shield there. See, this is why they should have made us do the grill earlier on. So, if there are any issues, you could have figured it out. Not waited until like the last page of the instructions. finicky model here. This is always the... Is that not on? Ah, see that's on 
one stood too far forward. Well, that makes more sense. All right, finally. And still got some extra parts here. Oh, those are going to be for the back wheels, OK. Which now it's time to do the wheels. Wondering why we had all these extra Trent orange one by one round plates. So we're taking our wheel hub and we're taking a couple of uh, round plates and those stick in there. They're not attached, there's no stud or anything, they're literally just held in there by friction. taking some three by three silver dishes and those are becoming the hubcaps. Finish it off. Got a little snot bracket there. Oh, then the other side's a little different because you got the fuel tank. Nothing too fancy or unexpected. And that is it. Let's see what other sets they were advertising back when this was printed. You got the Mini Cooper, the Tower Bridge, Ferris Wheel, the Lego Club, which no longer exists. All right. So that wraps things up. Uh, to do. Got one more giveaway to do, so we'll show off our final build here. So yeah, we've got our T1 camper van. So definitely the finished model looks quite sharp. A um, little ugly here because you have these grooves, but that is so the doors can open. Uh, so I'm not sure how exactly they could have gotten around that. Um, but otherwise, it looks very, very nice and smooth. I do like the curve shaping they did along the sides um, and even on the back here. It's a little bit ugly right in the front there. I, don't know, I wish they could have found like a slightly different way, maybe reduce that gap or something to make it a little bit cleaner. Um, then as far as features go, we've got our little pop up here to give you more space on the inside. And that's got a cool fabric piece in there. And that, oh, and yes, the top comes off. And this comes off 
two, but not as easily. And then we got the doors all open. And so inside, we'll look in the driver's section first. We got a nice bench seat. You can see we've got our steering wheel, our dashboard, our shifter. And then probably can't see it, but down below there is a gas and brake pedal. So that's kind of a nice little detail. And then move it into the back. You can see we've got like a nice linoleum tile floor here. Uh, we've got a pair of seats and we have a table here that can fold up. So you can sit at a table in the back. And over here, there's a little sink. And on this side, we've got a closet that opens up and some drawers underneath and some shelves on the door. And for what's inside the closet, you can hopefully see that from the side window here. And there's a t-shirt hanging up that says, make Lego models, not war. Um, and then uh, if you fold the table down, so like this, the bench back here is on like a compound hinge and can unfold. A little tricky to do it one hand though. But that can fold flat and combines with the back space to make one long flat bed. And you can see there's a little uh, lava lamp in there. And on the other side, You've got a poster, an old potted plant. So you have a pretty nice little uh, detail and in, detailed interior there. And then uh, on the back, your back uh, tailgate opens up. So you know if the bed's folded down, you can also fit like a long surfboard or something in there, I guess. And then underneath that, you have the uh, engine is back there. It's a cool little detail. And you can see the exhaust pipe. Got our license plate. The bottom is pretty austere. Not a lot going on there. I think that's fine though. You're not gonna be looking at the bottom of the set too much. Uh, you can see that I've had like some issues getting the roof on here. I think part of that was at first I wasn't all lined up properly. And I think once you get this part on, you're not really supposed to take it off because it is connected by a whole row of studs there. Um, but that does kind of take away from seeing the interior. So now once I do that, this area goes on a little better maybe. Yeah, this, the back corners are a little tight. There we go. All right, that's better. Yeah, once you have everything lined up. And yes, yeah, so now that it's all lined up and on there better, now you can see I don't have to worry about the roof coming off as I show the pop-up mechanism. So yeah, that is our T1 camper van. I do have the Volkswagen Beetle. And yeah, this was a little bit more uh, recent of a set. So not quite to the same scale, obviously. How did that all squeeze on here? The surfboard just popped off and I forget how it would fit on there. Oh well, figure that out later. So you can see the two Volkswagens side by side. Um, I do kind of like having the bigger uh, logo on the front, although it's a sticker whereas it's printed here. broke out from sitting so long. But uh, yeah, they make the, uh, a nice pair, nice complement, match set. And they're both still available, I believe, um, from the Lego store, so you can uh, pick them up if you so desire. So yeah, it's definitely a fun build. A um, little bit tricky at times to get some of the stuff lined up, especially on the roof. Um, but yeah, definitely like, like the build. 
And uh, I don't think I showed off on the end here, our little fabric curtains that we got. So that was a nice touch as well. So seven fabric pieces in this set. That's pretty unheard of, I would say. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Sorry we had some technical difficulties in the middle. Uh, let's see. Shut off the interior, so that's good. Yes. Yeah, the azure color on the beetle is pretty great. Um, anyway, since we are done, we got one more prize to give away. So let's see who our last winner is going to be. Matt Goldberg, congrats. You've won an Elite TIE Fighter Pilot buildable figure. So we will be in touch and we'll get you that uh, set. Um, I think you're going to be at Brick for Virginia, so we may, you know, just give it to you there. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. We will not be streaming next weekend. Um, I'll actually be up in Philadelphia visiting the Halo Outpost Discovery event that's going on there. One of my other hobbies, good old Halo. Um, and I think we should have one weekend after that um, before Brick Fair Virginia, so hopefully we'll squeeze one more stream in in July. So yeah, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Hope you had a good time. And uh, we will see you when we see you in a couple weeks. Take care.